Come on. Thank you, Jesus. God is freeing you right now. This is the power of God delivering you, hon. Thank you, Lord. I break every generational curse off of your life now. Every curse that came upon worshiping false gods in past generations. And I declare every spirit that was attached to this uh, witchcraft, idol worship, every spirit that has tormented her mind and, and brought this destruction in her life and relationships, I declare all must leave her on three in Jesus' name. One, two, three. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Be full of his peace and joy, and may you live an abundant life now. In Jesus' name. We traveled from Canada to come attend the conference in Chicago. A little bit of the backstory about why we're here. About a year ago, my wife started listening to Apostle Catherine via Instagram. Only a few weeks later, I tuned in and out occasionally and I go to bed early. One night I had to go to bed while she was still listening. I had been suffering from a car accident injury for 10 years where it was pretty significant to where I would experience pain almost daily. And occasionally it would get so bad I'd have to go to the hospital and yeah, just have to cope with that throughout the last decade. And it was always subdued. So I never really sought or thought it was important to God to heal me from that necessarily. I didn't think my salvation, I thought my salvation was more important which it was but yeah during that night I, I had gone to bed and Thea was listening to Apostle Catherine gone on to her Instagram live where she went to the prayer ministry part of the sermon and Thea joined in to that group that was um, asking and receiving prayer requests meanwhile I'm in bed sleeping and Thea felt yeah encouraged and compelled to ask for healing for my back for me and that's been a bit of part of her her story there, but she did. She walked in faith and asked for healing for my back. And back in the bedroom where I was sleeping, I was I was having a weird like dream of my arm and my shoulder being cranked backwards and being twisted in a in a way which was familiar because it was a way that I would stretch and try and recontort my back back to what it was like. So it felt familiar, but I wasn't doing it myself. It felt like someone was in the room pulling my shoulder and my back and retwisting it from the motion of the accident. Thea thought I had gotten up at that time because she was hearing footsteps in my in the bedroom that was behind the wall where she was sitting. So she thought I was gonna come out, but I was asleep and it wasn't until the morning when I woke up and I didn't I didn't say anything, but we were just talking about last night. I was like, oh yeah, it was good. And I was like, back feels better. I don't know why, like I felt like I was experiencing something last night. And then she shared what happened on her end about her asking for a prayer and yeah, God healed me and now it's nine months later and I haven't experienced any pain at all. Um, and what would keep me up at night because of because of that pain is uh, is gone. So um, when we heard Apostle Catherine was traveling to Chicago, we drove eight hours from Canada to be here to experience more of God's healing and more of God's power. And yeah, we did. And that's where Thea's testimony comes in. <laughs> Hi, I'm Thea. I am uh, Zach's wife. Yeah, we're here in Chicago and I just want to um, praise God and also thank Apostle Catherine for um, our testimonies um, and a bit of mine today. Um, well, it, it goes back to nine months ago when I first started to watch Apostle Catherine's videos. A friend had recommended her and I began to watch them and I ended up on a Zoom call and she actually delivered me from a lot of oppression that was happening in my mind. Um, and from there, there was so much release that I felt and such a renewal of my mind and my thoughts. And I continued to watch her. I continued to watch all her um, YouTube videos and lives, um, continued to be a part of the move in all the Zoom links and all of that. And then Zach's testimony happened. Since then, I've just continued to watch and God just made a way for us to come to Chicago from Canada. And um, today God healed me and released me from a lot of demonic oppression. I just felt as Apostle Catherine was praying over me so much come out. I think she delivered me from some generational curses and some familial stuff and abuse um, from childhood. And even after I got prayed over, I went 
off to the side and I felt God continuing to minister to me like it wasn't over and he was just continuing to release spirits off of me and yeah there was like a moment where I felt like a full like flushing of that and then I just began to to smile and feel joyful and I remember that's when I looked up at Zach like oh I feel good now <laughs> um, so I just yeah I praise God I'm so sure that I'm going to continue to feel this days and weeks after and I'm excited to see what that looks like and I'm, I'm sure we'll be back <laughs> in some shape or form. <laughs>